we're going to have to weed around this uh, pond garden. We keep uh, mostly hostas in here. And they're slowly coming up. There's Golden Tierra and Elegans, the old basic green and white. And the bigger green ones are what I call American Standard. That's not the exact name, although American, I believe, is in their name. We're going to talk about grass in a minute. I don't know if you've ever used these, but these fold up and they're really nice when you get my age on your knees. You can sit on it. Or you can kneel on it. And the nice thing when you kneel on it, it helps your knees, but when you get up, you got two handles to push up from. When you get older, it's a little harder to get up off your knees than when you were a young person. Now my pond has a hose so that we don't have to keep filling it. It goes up along the foundation and under this deck. See the boxwoods are flushing out. And it comes over here and hooks to my rain barrel. This rain barrel is not attached, to, the downspout's not attached to anything off the roof, so I had to put a diverter here for the rainwater to hit, which would drive it back. Otherwise, uh, the rain on a real downpour, the water wouldn't go in the barrel at all. I tie it off with a rope so it can't go anywhere. And I've cleaned it out. And if you ever put one in, the pipe that comes in, you need to put a 90 degree on it and a little short pipe so that the water with all the trash in it is above the 90 and therefore you're getting clean water in the hose to use as rain water. Keep down on mosquitoes, you can buy these little round circle mosquito killers and in a barrel this size you'd break off maybe one third of one of those circles and it'd last them over a month. Now we need to talk a little bit about grass. I'm going to go over here and get my seat and sit down. I'll give you a little shot of the river today. It's been pretty windy. Looks like it's calming down. I don't see too many white caps. One thing about grass, it's really nice because it does hold the soil. And if you didn't have grass or something growing along the river, uh, you get an awful lot of uh, soil erosion going into the water. And you don't really need that. And you need to have grass or some kind of retaining wall to try to keep uh, all the sediment from the water running down into the river. Now here in Virginia, we're too warm for cold season grasses, and we're too warm, uh, cold for warm season grasses. So that puts us in the middle. Usually we use a blend of some type, some that grow in the warm weather and some that grow in the cool weather. I know money's tight, and I know fertilizer's going up. Last I saw it was over $50 a bag. And if you want to put down just one bag, you ought to do it in the springtime, the early spring. In Virginia, when the dogwoods bloom, that's when you should put down the first uh, fertilizer, and it has halts in it. Halts puts a membrane over the soil to keep any weed seeds from germinating. And you need to put that down, at least here in Virginia, before the dandelions turn from flower to the little seed blooms at the top that kids used to blow off when I was a child. And then after that, that's a uh, Scott's makes, we use Scott's product, they, a lot of companies make it. Uh, the blue bag is the first one you put down in the year. The second bag is a yellow bag. And what that does is you put it down on wet grass and it clings to all the weeds and anything that did sprout and didn't get caught by the halts and that will cut out most of your dandelions for the year and that's probably one of our biggest problems here the summertime bag is just to help it get through the stress of uh, dry conditions and very hot weather and the fall 
application really produces a lot of energy in the roots and not so much in the grass so that next spring when it turns warm the roots will establish a decent lawn. If you don't have a lot of money and I know money's tight I would put the first bag down during the year. If you want to go for two bags worth I would put the first one down and the last one the winter fertilizer down. If you wanted to buy three bags, I'd buy the first one and second one and skip the summer application and then put the winter down. It's a lot of money. It would cost us $200 a year just to fertilize this four times. Uh, normally speaking, we will always do the first and the fourth one. Uh, this year with a major dandelion problem, we will do the first, second, and fourth one. Thanks for watching.